We did the chocolate. No, my mistake. Sorry. We did the chocolate. No, sorry. We did the cinnamon roll. We also did the chocolate lava. Did you really think a brownie was going to stop us? Welcome to Makeovers. So today we take on Theo Broma's chocolate overload brownie. Now the great thing about this is that they use eggs, which means I can use them too, and that's gonna make it a lot easier for me to beat them. I'm just kidding. Theo Broma is actually a very good brand. I think uh, they've done some exceptional work to create a model that people love and adore. However, the question stands: Can you make a version that is better than theirs at home? With that thought, let's hit the gym. I mean the kitchen. Let's let's hit the kitchen. First, we're going to start by greasing your tray with oil and lining it with parchment paper. This acts as an insurance policy so that the brownie batter will not stick no matter how much chocolate you choose to add. Then you're going to bring a pot of water to a light simmer. You're going to place a large bowl on top of the pot. We call this cooking on a double boiler. To the bowl, you're going to add three fourth of a cup plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter, half a cup of brown sugar, and 150 grams of dark chocolate chunks. You're going to let this melt gently, stirring every once in a while until completely melted. Then in your stand mixer, you're going to add 4 eggs and 3 fourth of a cup of breakfast sugar. You're going to whisk at high speed until the eggs and sugar mixture turns pale and fluffy. This can take anywhere between 6 to 8 minutes. While that happens, you're going to mix in your dry ingredients. In a bowl, you're going to take 1 cup plus 2 tablespoons of flour, 3 fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. I've used Urban Platter Cocoa Powder. Feel free to use any other brand of your choice. One teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of instant coffee powder. Give it a whisk until thoroughly combined. Once the egg mixture has turned pale and fluffy, you're gonna turn the speed to medium low, and you're gonna pour your melted chocolate and butter mixture. Mix for one minute, then you're gonna fold in your dry ingredients. Finish by adding 150 grams of dark chocolate chunks, fold in one last time and then pour onto your prepared tray and spread the batter evenly edge to edge. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 to 35 minutes. And that's your beautiful brownie. You're going to let this cool down for a minimum of 30 minutes and then you're going to take the brownie out and start slicing. Now when you slice, you should have smudges of chocolate on your knife. This confirms that your brownie is fudgy and gooey in the center. Now let's see how we did compared to Theobromas. So we've got two brownies. This one is Theobromas, this one is mine. Alright, let's see how this goes. Vyoma, you have to choose between the two brownies and you have to explain why you've chosen that brownie. Okay, okay? so this is your first. Okay. Second one is here. Okay, so which brownie do you think is better and why? I like the second brownie better because uh, I think it was um, richer in texture and the chocolate was, the aftertaste was very nice. Okay. And also, I felt the first one was slightly drier. This was supposed to be a chocolate overload brownie, so I couldn't get much of it. The chocolate was very stiff. So okay. I think for me it was the second one. Alright, thank you. Well done. How to go? So I hope you enjoyed this episode, especially because I turned out to be the winner. You guys know the drill. If you guys learned something, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.